Hey y'all, I'm Barbara the Welder and I'm going to share with you in this episode how I created the body of the Lady Liberty sculpture. Alright, first step with making this sculpture is coming up with the proportions. I know overall that from the top of her hand to the bottom of her dress is going to be five foot. So making sure that everything is in proper proportion is key. Using the measurements from the actual Statue of Liberty, I've run the numbers on this. It has taken me half a day. I literally probably have smoke coming out of my ears right now. and I've had to take my boot off twice to do the measurements. And it's time to start framing this out. What I'm going to use for frame is quarter inch round bar and I'm just going to lay the base and start building up from there. I'm start with the base and work up to the shoulders. I finally got the body framed out where I want it. It's taken me a couple of times because when I first went in and did it, her tummy was a little bit, uh, a little bit fat and the dress on the bottom, it didn't have the, the movement that I wanted to have it. So I went back and redid both of those. I did not keep in mind at first that as I'm plating this, it's going to have an extra half of an inch of thickness on it. And so I had to go back in and make it a little bit smaller so that once I get the sheeting done, that it's gonna proportionally look good. My next step is the arms and hands and the neck and head. So that has me a little bit nervous. <laughs> Because again, the proportions have to look right. So that is my next challenge with this, is getting that all figured out. So wish me luck. My first instinct with sheeting in the sculpture was 11 gauge steel. It's what I've done on my smaller sculptures that I've created in this style where it's like a hollow shell. Um, but as I started, it wasn't giving me the flow that I want for the dress. It wasn't giving me that soft look. It, because the steel is plated and flat and it's really hard for me, I'm hand forming everything still. And so I thought that I could use a quarter inch round bar. It's the same quarter inch round bar that I've been using to frame up the sculpture. I'm actually just taking a piece like this. I'm bending it just a little bit using holes in the bench in order to just kind of hand bend it and then I'm putting it side by side and then I'm welding the seam between the two. So it is giving me, is giving me that soft look that I want that's going to make the dress look flowy like an actual dress would. So it's super filthy right now because what I do is once I get done welding and grinding each piece, I spray it in order to keep it from getting spatter on it because I don't want to have to go back and grind it like a whole bunch of times. So the spray helps save me some time. It's just like a nozzle dip kind of spray that you would use as an anti-spatter. It's an anti-spatter. So what it looks like on the inside, I'll get you a close up here so that you can see. So it's taken a lot longer than I expected, but in the end, the finish is going to be really beautiful and something that I'm deeply proud of. 